Okay, so I know it's been a while since I last posted and I'm sure you want an explanation, but I'm just gonna skip this boring part and get straight into the video. All right, so a few months ago before all the summer heat really got bad, I had this idea to head to this abandoned town in the desert that I've had on my list for years. This town was partially built in the middle of an area with drifting sands and little rainfall, so over the decades, despite people's efforts to keep the sand away, nature eventually won and buried multiple properties underneath the sand. So now only a few houses remain, and while the rest are buried or destroyed, the few that remain were some of the most unique abandoned places I've been to yet. All right guys, what's up? Welcome to another video. I know it's been a while and it's also been a while since I filmed. So if I'm a little weird on camera, that's why. But today I just drove three hours. I'm out here in the middle of the desert and there's this cool little town over here that um, isn't really there anymore. It's all buried in the sand. It's kind of cool. It's probably one of like the only places like this in, in America. I know of like a place like this kind of in Africa. But like the houses are filled with sand, but most of these are kind of falling apart from the sand. But I think a few of them we should be able to go into. There's like a cool little bus that we can go check out, stuff like that. So I'm going to go head over there in a minute. And as you can see, I have a Ford Fusion, so I can't really do any off-roading. The road does keep going a little bit, but it's kind of blocked by all this trash and stuff. And I don't really want to go around it. And then right after that, the road just kind of disappears. And there was a pretty sketchy sign, like right there, I don't know if you can see it, but you can't see it from this side, but it pretty much just says that the road isn't maintained and the county's not responsible for any cars that get stuck out here. So I don't wanna risk it, I'm just gonna park right here in this gravelly stuff and walk in. I already kinda see one of the houses. The this, this sand though is pretty cool looking. And then we got the first house right here. This one honestly doesn't really look like much. I'm still gonna check it out. I did see some more over there as I was walking up. But this one I just kind of saw on the map. I had it pinned, so I might as well uh, check it out while I'm already walking over to it. I already kind of walked kind of far too. It's a little hot out. I hope my camera does just fine. This one, I just bring this one for pictures. I mostly film on my phone, but wow. And like there's another one over there, right there. I don't know if you could see it. And there's a few more over there. I want to try to find the bus. There's like this really cool bus that people have gotten pictures of that's sunken in the sand out here. Well, this one wasn't much better. <laughs> I know there's better ones though. I'm going to find the better ones. I'm hanging out in the shade right now. It's hot out. It's really hot out. But there's the other house that I was just at, kind of through the trees right there. My car would be visible somewhere up there if that tree wasn't there. Well, let's go check this out a little bit at least. Yeah, as you can see, this was like the roof right here and the sands come all the way up and made this dune all the way up to the roof here. People have been vandalizing it. Let's see if I can get up the sand dune. Fuck. Can't even can't even see what the inside used to look like. Some old vents from the attic right here. Sorry, I'm like slipping in the sand if it's all shaky footage. I'm pretty sure I see that bus over there somewhere. All right, so now we actually found some that we can go inside of a little bit. This one at least has some shade and I just did a little bit of a walk again. So let's go in here and check it out. So as you can see this, I'm assuming this was a garage. Is this full of sand? There's footprints in here from other people that have been here and rat shit. This is so weird. And I see like snake prints in here too on the ground and stuff. I assume, assume those are snake prints. I don't know what the fuck these markings are. It's weird though. Let's go up and over this. 
I have to crouch down right now. This is weird. And check out the rest of this place. Whoa. There's like an old TV and stuff in here still. Kind of sketched about walking around in here. I feel like there's gonna be rattlesnakes hiding around, hiding underneath like half of this shit. This is so cool though. There's a recent thing here saying that this property is for sale. Who would want to buy this? Less than a month ago, just about a month ago of me being here. There's some cool stuff in here though. Old keyboard, speaker half, TV and some other stuff. It's pretty neat. Let's check out this house. And I know there's this house and there's like something behind it too. So let's see. This is so weird. I want to go in there pretty badly. I could see that it's walled off right there though. And there's another room. Which is probably buried in sand. But I know there's a house behind this right here. This is the one I was looking for. This is the one you can go inside of. And look at this sand bank. It goes up this whole wall. This wall was actually probably put here to stop the drifting sand. Because it's huge. It's tall. It's really tall. And the sand started coming from this way. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm scaring the birds away just by talking. Oh my god. There's another one. But yeah. And then there's this little shed here. There's a little tiny house here. And the garage right there. This is a cool little area. I'm going to see if I can get in. Yeah, this sandbank wall is huge, but it kind of helped this house. This house you could actually go inside of a little bit. Let's check it out. It smells really bad in here, actually, like rat shit or something. But wow, this is so cool. Oh, this bathroom is still here, actually. Toilet's full of sand. <laughs> wow, this is crazy. Look at that sink full of dolls and stuff. They literally just left everything behind in here when they left. This is crazy. This is really cool. I don't like the way that roof sounds moving in the wind. I'm just going to keep going though. What is that? Some string? This is so cool. Another bathroom here. Oh, an easy way in. Wow, they really left everything behind. This is the kitchen, and look, they still have honey, cornstarch, some other stuff up there. Wow. This is absolutely insane. This like ground freezer fridge right here, closet. This must have been the living room. I'm sure there's probably still a couch and all that stuff left behind. This is scary. The whole roof and this part of the house is disconnecting. It's literally like, wow. That's a little sketchy. Also, <laughs> I don't know if that looks like to you, but that looks like a rattlesnake tail that got dragged through the sand. All these little markings in the sand right here. Definitely gonna watch my footing. This is absolutely surreal for me. And also the roof here is coming off. That's nice. That's just crazy that all this stuff was left behind. I mean, this isn't really like that much stuff here. It's a fridge just barely poking up. It's probably full of sand too. 
but they left all of this. And not just this, but they left rooms full of stuff. They left their couches. Whoops. They left their couches there. I'm sure there's more stuff under the sand, but a lot of it got pushed this way. There used to be a chandelier right here. And now it's pretty much like my head is above it. My head is right here touching the ceiling because of the sand. That's probably the way I'll leave. Go check out the other stuff on that side a little bit. Let's check out this side of the house one more time though. This is the side that smelled weird. But I definitely want to get a picture of this room here. This is how I've been walking through the place because it smells so weird in here. And the last thing I want is to catch some Zika. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Show you guys some more of the outside of it. Whoa. Almost forgot what it looked like out here. Jeez. This side of the house is completely good, except people have been shooting shotguns at it, which is kind of scary because there's someone living right there. So hopefully that doesn't happen while I'm here. But look at that. So I was kind of wondering when I saw pictures how people got on top of it, but I'm literally taller than it right now because of how buried it is. This is so cool though. This is so cool though. And we can go inside of it through the back here. No smoking. Okay. Wow. This is so fucking cool. No graffiti or anything. Just sitting out here in the sand. Wow. Definitely a one of a kind spot. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this in all the, the spots I've seen. And I'm so glad I came. This is so cool. I literally have no words for this, but all I know is that they abandoned all this stuff when the sand started drifting too much and they couldn't really do anything. I guess they could have moved this bus unless it didn't work at the time. But it's so cool. The seats are in like really good condition still. Some broken glass on that seat. But besides that, like, this place is... Ouch! Got hooked on the tumbleweed. Besides that, this place is so cool. I'm so glad I came here before it got graffitied up, too. One last look at the bus before I get out of here. This is probably one of my favorite things here. Just because of how unique this is. And I'm going to get some drone shots of the buildings and stuff like that before I get out of here, too. One last look at them. All right, guys, I made it back to my car. I'm fucking hot and dehydrated, so I'm gonna start getting back on the road. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button, comment down below, and subscribe if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And yeah, peace. <laughs>